Hey everyone, welcome to the channel where we are discussing the Terraform in detail. So far we have discussed how we set up the Terraform variables with the different approaches as it is listed down here. Terraform variables can be set up as the default values or as the terraform.tfvar values or it can be set up as any file which has the extension as a tfvar. There is also a suffix called the auto tfvar which you can define to set up your variables in case if you want to. Apart from that, there are some ways like passing the variable values as in command line argument to your Terraform command line. That command line, that's what we have seen. And at the last, we have seen how do we pass some of the critical information to your Terraform variables such as the uh, service name, username and password as in command line or as in environment variable to your Terraform configuration. Now the question is, what if we have a single variable which is being set across all these files, for example, then what would be the precedence of execution or which value will be taken on priority from the execution point of view by the Terraform program? And that is one of the most asked question in the interviews in which uh, you might be asked by the interviewer that what would be the precedence of the execution for the Terraform variables. In this episode, we'll look at the execution precedence in detail with the help of demonstration. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and have a look at the demonstration now. In this demo, we are using this particular Terraform directory, which is 0 for 7 variable precedence. Here you can see that I have a variable name location defined. At the moment, location has a default value, which is a default value I have given so that we have a default value. At the same time, I'll be setting those, this particular variable as an environment variable. So I'll just run, run the command line to set that variable as an environment variable. As we know that the Terraform variable can be set as the environment variable with the help of tfvar underscore and the name of the environment. So at the moment, the value I'm setting is value from environment variable so that we know that this variable is coming from the environment variable. Next, we have a terraform.tfvar file, which is a reserve file. I'm specifying the location, same variable value as this value from terraform tfvar. Then we have a general tfvar created, which can be anything dev.tfvar test.tfr so I'm passing the value as value from this file. Next I have a auto tfr created uh, given a name as the dev.auto tfr so extension remember that we have the auto.tfr and the again the value I'm just making it uh, as an identifier so that we know that this value is coming from where. So now we have the values everywhere all the six places so now let's run the terraform plan command to know and read the values in your program. So I have a main.tf file where I'm reading this variable and printing out the variable value. Now the other way is we know that we can pass the terraform, uh, we can pass the variable values as in terraform plan command, which is the our fifth way. So I'll be using that as well. So when I run the terraform plan command, I'll pass the variable value as in var dash var and then the name of the variable location. I'll say from command line. Now if we run the terraform plan as is and let's see what would be the precedence. Uh, even though we have the variable values everywhere and in all the files, but the precedence goes to the command line argument. And that is why we got the value output as a from command line for that location when we were printing. Now let's take an, another example of the same file wherein we are not only going to pass the Terraform plan as that particular variable, individual variable, but at the same time we are going to pass the variable file as well. In this case, we are passing the general.tf file. I'll run that. So we are mixing both var file as well as the individual 
command line argument. This time again, it is giving the precedence to the command line argument as an individual argument rather than the file. Now, just to prove the point why it is giving the precedence to the command line argument, I'll just shuffle the order of these parameters in my Terraform plan. So at the moment in the current run, I have given the order as in first I have provided the variable file name as a first argument and then individual variable. So instead of that, I'll swap these parameters. So now I'm passing where as a first argument, which is an individual variable. And then second argument I'm passing as the file name. Let's run that. This time it is taking a precedence to the variable files. What this proves that if you are passing the same variable from the command line, whether it is from the file or mixing file and as well as as an individual variable, then whichever argument executed later that takes precedence. So for example, Terraform command line is executing this as first and then this as last. So whatever was the last time, uh, whichever was the executed later point of time that has taken the precedence, right? Now let's not use this individual variable in our Terraform command because we know that this is this takes the highest precedence in the order. So let's not use that for now. So I'll be removing any argument and I'll just simply run the Terraform plan command. So now this next, it is trying to read the value from the auto TFware files. And that is what the next highest precedence we have. If we do not provide any command line argument to our Terraform plan command. Okay, so this has been evaluated and tested. So now I'll be commenting out these values. I'll run the Terraform plan again. So we have eliminated the use of general.tfr file because we have already tested. We are eliminating this auto tfr file as well. Now the only candidate we have is tfr file environment where and the default value. This time it is reading it from the terraform.tfware files. So it's not reading from the environment variable. It's not reading from the default value. So it is taking a precedence as the Terraform values. So let's go to the Terraform values and comment that value as well, because we have already tested that. Let's rerun our plan command again. Now we just have two candidate in the race, one is the environment variable and the default variable. Let's run that now. And this time environment variables win the race and we are getting a value from the environment variable. And at the last, if I delete the environment variable value, of course, it will read the value from the default value uh, as a default value of this variable, which we already know. So this is how the precedence works. So just to revise, so just to revise the execution order of the execution, we have the Terraform plan command. So any variable values, whether you pass it as in the individual variable value or you pass the Terraform file, variable file, TFR file as in command line, that always takes the precedence. After that, we have the next precedence to the auto TFR files. Next, we have the precedence to the terraform.tfr files. And after that, we have the precedence to the environment variables. And at the last, the precedence will go to the default value, which we can set to any of the variables when we define the variables in the variable.tf file. I hope you have found this video useful and you got some idea how the precedence of the variable execution works. Thanks for watching it video. Thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.